This is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia, guys. This is our morning update. Hey, it's OG. I'm still here. I'm still alive. You know, uh, we're still here in Vietnam, stuck in lockdown. It looks like we're going to get uh, the lockdown is going to be extended for maybe two, uh, two more, two or three more weeks. So we could be seeing ourselves still in the lockdown, probably to the middle uh, or the end of uh, September. So things are getting a little bit, a little bit uh, uncertain right now. But uh, we're here bringing you the good vibe. So I just want to say God bless everyone that's uh, watching this uh, video, and let's get into it. So right now, today, we've got something really interesting. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about where I see the crypto markets where I see Dogecoin going uh, for the balance of uh, this week and uh, you know some outlook for September so you guys have to buckle up and get prepared to watch that also we're, remember no this is financial advice this is just the OG in the house giving you my opinion this is only education for educational purposes only and this cannot be construed as financial advice in any way shape or form there are many different options available for you remember do your own risk management and this is for only for education purpose watch out for nice cameras in the content also we're gonna we have the huge uh, uh, options expiration that's happening on Friday so we're gonna talk about that where where that's gonna take uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and we see that there's right now there's a lot of calls for Bitcoin at fifty thousand dollars so you can see that yesterday we kind of went down a little bit uh, we fell fell back down from forty nine thousand uh, fifty thousand went down to forty nine thousand so we're, we're gonna talk about that also we got that big uh, financial Fed meeting that's uh, happening this week so we just need to keep an eye on the markets and uh, see where things are going and I think pretty much we're gonna see stuff going sideways uh, if not down a little bit so let's jump into the newsy news right now and then after we go through the news we'll go through some uh, TA then we'll go through the markets and uh, yeah let's get into it let's get into it Woo! so right now some of the big news I just talked about uh, Bitcoin stalls near 50k so you guys saw yesterday that Bitcoin went up to uh, $50,000 $50,500 a range and then we uh, quickly dropped back down to uh, 49,000 uh, 400 ish we're going to talk about the exact price in a second but you know uh, what's causing that well you know we have this uh, Bitcoin stall after approaching $50,000 resistance level on Monday and $50,000 is a key key resistance level and we're having a hard time breaking above that so really 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 need to get uh, going and now we're trading around about 49,500 we kind of range between 49.2 and 49.5 and uh, but we're still up 8% over the week guys so that's not too bad but you know Analysts expect a period of consolidation ahead of Friday's option expiration date and news from the Federal Reserve's uh, annual economic policy uh, symposium. So we've got the options expiration and we've got the uh, Jackson Hole, um, the uh, Federal Reserve's economic policy me meeting. That's all going to be done online, virtual. But I'm sure that one of the one of the big topics there is you know the impact on uh, on the COVID on the economy, how that's uh, going to affect that. They're going to be talking about inflation. As you see that uh, this year the inflation has, uh, has been some of the highest it's been since 2008. So this is also impacting the economy. But also the other thing that's going to be on everyone's mind because I'm sure like Gary Gensler is going to be in there and they're going to be talking about this whole new infrastructure bill and it's in and the tax and the impact on the cryptocurrency space so they're definitely going to be talking about that and they're going to be talking about how to regulate and uh, basically I think they're going to also be discussing what is the definition of cryptocurrency because a lot of people on the hill uh, they really don't understand what it is what the implications are and I'm sure they're also going to be talking about the CBDC and perhaps after that meeting we might get some positive news uh, that they actually start talking about the rollout of CBDC which is really important because we have the uh, Chinese digital one um, they're, they're you know they're basically rolling that ba rolling that out so that's uh, we're getting behind the eight ball on that so as you guys know that we have this roughly 25% of Bitcoin options interest is set to expire on Friday so we have 25% of the uh, options expiring on Friday the largest concentration of open in interest is seen at $50,000 strike price so you can see here at $50,000 right here, you can see that we have uh, around about 2.6K. These are calls. So these calls are betting that the market will go up. So they're betting that uh, the market is going to go up to, that Bitcoin is going to go beyond 50,000K. And remember, if it does go past 50,000K, then those people who have these calls are actually going to make money. So 
well, uh, you know, and, and don't forget the market makers, they don't want to have to actually pay out, right? So we're going to see some uh, pressure that's going to be driving, absolutely driving down the uh, Bitcoin price below uh, 50,000. So that's why we're seeing right now that Bitcoin is below 50,000. It's probably going to stay like that to the end of the week, uh, to uh, the 27th of August. And that's going to have a that's going to have an impact on all the cryptos. Uh, you're probably going to see that either we're going to be going sideways for Ethereum, sideways for Dogecoin in the house, or we could see ourselves going down anywhere from three to five percent. So guys, just buckle up, get prepared that we're either going to have sideways action or we're going to see some uh, negative territory. So we could see uh, Dogecoin going down to uh, 29 cents. We'll jump into the TA and I'll give you some price analysis once we see the charts. So some other news that's coming out right now is, uh, this, is a, this is bullish news. We have another US bank joins a small list of w willing to serve crypto uh, companies. So a customs, customs Bank is working with blockchain payments provider TSAT to offer real-time tokenized dollar transfer in addition to accounts for crypto firms. So we have another bank, uh, as I said, that they're willing to, uh, this is a, a the customs, customs, Customers Bank is out of uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, and it's also FID, FDIC in short. And this is kind of a crypto-friendly bank. You, you know, you can have, they have crypto on their platform, and also they're signing up more companies that are involved in crypto. Because in the past, a lot of FDIC in short banks kind of stay, stayed away from uh, blockchain and crypto related companies uh, because of the whole regulation issues and some of the issues around crypto so this is this is bullish news that we're seeing another small bank that's FDIC in short that they're uh, helping crypto companies and helping customers set up uh, accounts that uh, utilize uh, crypto so Let's just talk about uh, Cardano. As you guys know, that Cardano has been on fire recently. Cardano's, uh, you know, getting pretty close to breaking uh, past three dollars. I think even though we've got this, uh, the uh, options expiry on Friday, and we have this uh, big uh, <clears throat> uh, Fed meeting, financial Fed meeting happening uh, this week as well, I still think that we'll see Cardano uh, going past three dollars, and I think that's really going to happen, guys. Woo! So if you're if you're if you bought Cardano you know, in the last two or three weeks, you're you're making some huge gains right now, so that's really positive. And uh, Cardano, I think we're gonna be breaking, we could be breaking $5 uh, before we even know it. $10, I think it's definitely income. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is just me offering my opinion. So Cardano, Alonzo, hard fork, what do we need to know? So you all know that we have the, the Alonzo uh, hard fork is a huge major upgrade. And this is when uh, it's going to turn on the smart contracts uh, functionality. And this is really important because smart, smart contracts are pieces of a computer code that automatically execute when certain per, per, predefined of the, the parameters are met. So after the Alonzo update, anyone will be able to create and deploy their own smart contracts on Cardano blockchain, paving the way for decentralized applications. And this includes DeFi and also NFTs. So you're going to be able to roll out NFTs, DeFi, different kind of dApps, and uh, DEX is on uh, uh, Cardano. So you guys know that uh, Cardano has gone through a whole bunch of different eras. We had the we had the the Byron, which was the initial outlaying, and this was the setup of code for Cardano. Then we had the Shelly, which focused on decentralization. Uh, then we have the Gurugan, which we're in now, and that introduces smart contract capability uh, to the network, allowing developers to uh, create and decentralize applications on top of Cardano. So this is really important. So once Agoragon is over, then we're going to uh, move out to the Basho. And this this basically is a performance upgrade and allows uh, people to scale for transactions. And then after that, you're going to have the, uh, the Voltaire, which basically adds voting and treasury system and self-sustaining governance. So those are the stages that we can look out for. And then if you look at the uh, Alonzo stages, it's actually broken into four sta three stages, the blue, the white, the purple. So the blue is basically introduction of smart contracts around 50 technical par participants. And this is going to be really rolled out kind of in insider, basically to uh, mostly stake pool operators. And then the uh, Alonzo White adds more features and a wider range of uh, participants. And then the purple, the Alonzo purple rain, the purple rain will be the full public test net for the smart contract. So that's kind of the bit condensed of what's going on with Cardano and the Alonzo hard fork. So this is a huge upgrade for Alonzo. And that's why we're seeing a lot of prices spiking right now. That's why I believe that, uh, you know, we could see $10 coming in. So when they when they finalize the uh, when they finalize the the purple phase, that means it's fully implemented and fully going live. So we have the blue going live uh, September 12th to 13th, depending on your time zone. So this is really bullish news. You guys should love it. I love it. I love it. So uh, some other news. 
some of the news is going on right now is uh, the CFTC commissioner stumped decrees over simplification that crypto is either a security or a commodity. So you know we had we had um, we had Gary Gensler who is claiming that uh, all cryptocurrency uh, DeFi uh, falls under the SEC uh, jurisdiction, and then we're having the Commodities Future Trading Commission also saying that. Uh, it falls under there. So there's a bit of a in-house wrangling uh, with the Fed and, and uh, Securities Commission and the uh, Commodities Future Trading Commission as to who actually has jurisdiction over cryptocurrencies. So it's probably going to take them a while to uh, figure it out. And uh, that's really good because by the time they're figuring it out and not one uh, commission has oversight and enforcement, that's going to give the cryptocurrency community a bit of a breather from regulation because they need to figure it out for themselves. So. With that being said, let's jump into the big story. As you guys know right now that uh, that uh, Elon's been tweeting up a stormy storm. Now, you know, one of the reasons that we're seeing that uh, Elon is more and more into these cryptic messages is because, you know, Gary Gensler, our dear friend at SEC, he has been kind of, uh, as you know, he sent a letter to Tesla basically reminding uh, Elon that he has a desist order from uh, market manipulation vis-a-vis -vis using Twitter. So he's been kind of told to, to back off a little bit. And that's why we're seeing that, uh, you know, Elon's uh, tweets are either becoming more cryptic and more vague, or he's talking something related not to Tesla or a Dogecoin or crypto, but he's talking about, you know, how shiny is his rocket, right? So, you know, we had this, uh, we had this tweet that came out about 12 hours ago, and it's from Garth Harney, and he was talking about, you know, the role of the dog and all that, and that pharaohs have it, and, you know, leadership and all that kind of stuff. So, Elon Musk came out with a tweet, and he says, ancient, doge, ancient dogs, you know, uh, ancient doges so this is really good news and he's kind of you know this is his way of showing support to the doge community and I really think that he still has his eye on the ball and remember we have this this whole uh, dogecoin foundation that uh, he is part of vis-a-vis -vis his representative that we have Vitalik on so this is really good news another tweet that came out and this is really kind of uh, cryptic and this is not the first time he's tweeted about the guns of August so you know this is just basically an excerpt from the the guns of uh, August but if you if you dig deep into it you can actually see that there is in fact uh, you know embedded in the code there is a code that actually talks about uh, Dogecoin so let me you can see if we look at James Hadkins we can see that there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rings. So Elon does talk about the nine rings, right, of, of, uh, of man, of mortal man. And if we count these nine rings, you can actually see that these nine rings, they actually spell out Doge coin. So, uh, you know, I think this is a cryptic message from Elon that he's absolutely supporting Doge. And uh, this is really the secret message that's revealed. So he's really telling us that he's, he's, He's looking at Doge, he's part of Doge, and he's got his eye on the ball. You know, I always think it's funny that uh, why why Elon cannot just come out and give us clear messages just by saying, I like the Doge. But you know, he can't do that because of the SEC uh, letters and uh, warning that he's he's had. So that's why he's it has to be cryptic, guys. So please understand that. But you know, he really, he really, uh, he really does allude to that. Uh, as you can see, uh, he really does allude to that as you can see that here it says nine ring, rings of mortal man and uh, that is right there so we got one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight uh, so you know he's really alluding to that so that's really cool guys hopefully you find that either as real that he really did give this to encode a message or maybe this is just happenstance tell me what you think in the comments guys is this intentional or is this just accidental and that somebody's just uh, digging at straws so i don't know so let's see what, <laughs> see what happens it could be just coincident or it could be actually that he is sending a coded message so let's let's uh let's uh, ponder that send me your comments so let's jump into ta right now so we can see right now that uh, uh, Bitcoin is trading at uh, forty-nine thousand six hundred seventy-eight dollars, and uh, that's uh, that's down uh, slightly uh, from where we were yesterday. Yesterday we had hit a we hit a high of uh, of fifty-one thousand, but we right now we've come down and we're now at uh, seventy. Uh, we're done down almost uh, zero point seven three percent, so a quarter percent down. So we hit a low. We hit a low today of uh, forty-nine two. And now we're trading around a 49.6.
So as I said, this week we're going to see a lot of a lot of consolidation, and you know we could see ourselves dropping back down to the 47 range area. So guys, just keep an eye on that. We're going to see a lot of sideways action going on for Bitcoin. Uh, we're also going to see that we might even see that the uh, uh, fear and greed index has probably dropped a little bit uh, because of that. So you know I wouldn't panic so much. It's still right the same, but you're probably going to see that we could drop back down from extreme greed to uh, greed area this week. So people are going to be sitting on the sidelines, like I said, waiting for these options expiry and waiting for this uh, this uh, financial Fed meeting that's going to happen as well this week. So I wouldn't I wouldn't panic too much. A little bit of consolidation is is always a is always a good thing. We're seeing basically the same thing for uh, Ethereum right now. Ethereum is trading at uh, 33. Hundred dollars, and it's just, just, uh, just above our 3281 uh, resistance level. So that's become support. So let's hopefully we can hold that support level. I don't know how long we can actually hold it. So this is going to be an interesting uh, day here in Asia, and I just believe that we're going to be going sideways, pretty much similar. And uh, right now we're down almost the same as a uh, Bitcoin, 0.64 percent and uh, nothing to worry about uh, you know if we see any big slides like 10 15 percent that's something to worry about but i think we'll be range bound between you know upside of five percent and a low side of uh, minus five percent so we're really just we're really going to be range bound in this kind of area for the next for, for basically this week until these uh, options expire so let's take a look at uh, uh, cardano as well cardano was seeing something a little bit similar we're seeing almost a two percent drop that's to be expected because Cardano's had a huge, huge impulse to the upside. Now there is some there is some speculation that Cardano is oversold right now, and we could see ourselves uh, printing around about a 40 cent, 40 percent drop to uh, 1.73, uh, 1 dollar and 73 cents. I hope that doesn't happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I think worst case scenario we may we may drop down to about two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, so that would put us uh, around about this area here. Uh, around about there that's that would be worst case scenario that we could drop around there so let's just keep an eye on the ball but you know if you got into Cardano way back here you're still doing pretty good so a little bit of consolidation is normal uh, if we look at Solana right now pretty much the same thing we're, we're, we're down about uh, uh, a quarter of a percent right now and we're just range bound and this is our support so we're just gonna be bouncing around here and then for the doge in the house you can see we have this uh, descending triangle here we're still trading at uh, right now at uh, 31 cents 33.14 and uh, you know what that means that we need to break out of this uh, triangle and hopefully we can do that but you, we're just gonna see ourselves range bound probably between uh, 30 and 32 cents for the balance of the week so hopefully that will uh, you know that this once the once the options expiry date is finished and uh, we can start to see us move higher so don't expect too much from doge this week it's going to be a lot of sideways action it's going to be pretty boring for for crypto you're not going to see any major big moves and then if we zoom in on the four hour time frame you can see pretty much the same kind of pattern we're still at 31 uh, 31 3 and it's just you're going to see a lot of sideways action all week so it's going to be really boring guys i tell you this week for crypto it's going to be really boring let's jump into the market let's jump into the market marks right now so if we take a look at the markets right now you can see that the total market cap is at 2.16 uh, trillion and the volumes at 79.78 uh, billion and our dominance has come down so that's really good so dominance has come down and we're at 42.81 percent so that's good if you look at the rainbow chart that's also pretty much unchanged and then if we look at our uh, old coin season let me just give that a, a minty make a minty refresh for you guys minty refresh you can see that absolutely we are in uh, old coin month and it's getting more bullish and uh, this is going to uh, a very much big bullish signal for the old coins and they should be starting to take off pretty soon but uh, like i said we're going to see a lot of range boundness this week uh, because of the uh, options expiration and uh, also this phase meeting so people are going to be sitting on the sidelines until we find out what's going to be coming out from this fed uh, meeting so hopefully it's nothing too hopefully we get some positive news uh but we'll have to see take a wait and see attitude so woo so things are still not looking so bad guys and uh, right now bitcoin is trading at uh, 49,115 that's down point, about 1.4 percent but we're still up 44 percent over 30 days so not too shabby not too bad and uh ethereum is uh, above the uh, psychological level of 3,300 and we're, and we're up 1.25 percent uh, from the lows in the last 24 hours. ADA is at $2.86 and that's still up 2.14 percent but we're still far but we're still below uh, where we were 
earlier yesterday when we got as high as two dollars and ninety cents. Uh, but you know, amazing, 134 percent increase over 30 days. That's fantastic, guys. And B and B has come down. Was at was a, at 500 bucks yesterday, and it's come down a little bit, but we're still up 9.15 uh, percent, and that's four dollars, 495 dollars. And then the Doge in the house is at the third, as I said earlier, it's at 31.35, and uh, down just half a percent. So we can expect that we're going to be absolutely go doing this with maybe maximum dropping down to. Uh, you know, 29 cents. Uh, that would be worst case scenario for this week, but we're just kind of a lot of range boundness. So, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag today. We're seeing, you know, some coins in the red, some in the green. So it's kind of a mixed bag. So uh, you guys shouldn't worry too much. Don't worry about it too much. Let's take a look at the crypto daily trade signals portfolio. Remember, none of this is financial advice. This is just the OG expressing his opinion, and uh, this is for educational purposes only. So you can see, even despite that uh, the uh, markets are down a little bit we're seeing that uh, you know our portfolio is pretty resilient we're still up uh, 50 we're still up 54 percent and that gives a total profit of 2728 so if you uh, guys are following this so congratulations remember this is for educational purposes only if you decide to copy any part of this portfolio you do it solely at your own risk but we're still up uh, our total portfolio value is 7728 now remember in july 2nd online we did online stream and we did we created this demonstration uh, portfolio for educational purposes on July 2nd and we put in uh, 5000 and you can see now that we're we're still doing okay I mean, where else can you get 54% uh, return in, in, in like six, seven weeks' time? So this is fantastic news. This is a great time to be alive. So with that being said, go to my Twitter right now and follow, follow, follow. we got 1,805 followers, but we're getting pretty close to uh, uh, 50,000 subscribers. And uh, don't forget to uh, s smash the likes. Subscribe, you wavy. And guys, stop suffering from smash the likes and subscribe avoidance syndrome. So show the OG some love in the house and uh, make it happen all right guys and uh, check out my linky winks remember now this is financial advice and uh, check out Zen music attic you know if you guys uh, are stressing out because the markets are going sideways uh, you can uh, come here and uh, watch uh, one or two hours of relaxing music and it's really soothing your soul find your soul and uh, support the channel become a patreon member uh, buy the channel a coffee I appreciate it and check out the merch guys you guys want to check out the merch you merch we got t-shirts we got hats we got uh, you know hoodies we got bags we even got pajamas guys and we have some new items in the shop we got the mug the mug we got water bottles we got bags we got pillows we got your mouse pads we got all backpacks who wouldn't want a baggy baggy backpack so get a backpack guys and i just want to say god bless each and every one of you i love you guys to death please check out the merch i'll see you in the next one god bless everyone spread a little love spread a little joy Woo! this is the og in the house Woo! -woo the rick flair of crypto coming to you live Woo! -woo.